doing Big Junior's birthday for Walleye Game. <laughs> They're going up. You gotta wear one? I don't know, a lot of people are. I don't have one. Everybody's bitching about being cold, but guess who ain't cold? Me. You wanna know why? Because I got on day. That's why. What you got there? I don't know. I just got it. Fruity. That's right, it's Big Junior's birthday. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel about me. I'll probably edit that out. No, you won't. I'm just fucking with him. Don't hold your foot. that said no, you wanted to come out here problem. what you mean oh my god where are we don't know where we are um i don't think we came down this way where did we cross that we went around the corner we came in down there where we came in down there didn't we didn't we cross over there? Washington. I don't know, here on parking garage. We took a left somewhere. We are lost. So this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. I think we took a left at the stoplight here. folks out here this morning <clears throat> Sunday morning and we're getting ready to go do a church service I'm about to uh throw my beanie my coat obviously just got done blow drying my hair and uh we're gonna go fire up the chalk it's almost been two weeks almost two weeks since that thing's been fired up will it start I guess is the question which it's been plugged in since last night at about uh one o'clock in the morning I think I went and plugged her in well, it's currently about 6.30. Um, 18 degrees out, I think. Feels like 11. So this will be fun. Not really dealing with the cold, but it's what it is. So let me get my jacket and hat on and we'll go crank her over. Yeah, not what I wanted to do. I'll uh, come back and deal with this cold. Well, we'll see how it goes, though. Should be a good time, I'd say. Because, you know, always enjoy running the truck, but I'm just tired of the cold. And I'm still nasally from being sick. And it's got some baby snowflakes coming down super early. Um, yeah, see that? Baby snowflakes. Was at that hockey game last night. That was a good time. I tried to sleep in, but uh, wide awake when the wife came in. Okay, I can hear the truck, so that's good. Sorry, it's dark. Just wanted to listen to see if I could hear that block heater. Because if I couldn't hear that block heater, we, we could have had issues. 
we could have had some problems and you know how it goes we don't want no problems and here goes nothing Sean on the phone about some exciting things, exciting news coming up in the future, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, gonna let this thing run for a while and uh, build some air and stuff and do its thing, and then uh, we'll be uh, we'll be getting in there and running her down the road. Oh, those are fun, huh? Yeah, what's going on right there? We at the circus? We're not at the shrine circus, but uh, whatever. That's how cold it is in here. Uh, so cold, I was just doing my paperwork, and this section of the window right here, I don't know if you can see that right there, it was uh, fogging up on me, so the heater's on. It is kind of warm, but not hot enough, obviously, because my breath's still going. But uh, should be fun. Need to run over and get some fuel. Um, this thing hasn't moved for like two fucking weeks, so it's probably, hopefully these brakes ain't too locked up. Just roll right out of the spot that it sits in. Because when I did that, um, when I changed that cylinder, um, <clears throat> just from turning the wheels and stuff, I made some ruts, if you will, in the uh, driveway. And when I back into my spot there, I just go right in that spot. And that's where it sits. Yeah, this ought to be a good time. Seeing as it moved in damn near two weeks. Oh yeah, right in there. Wife's gone already. She uh it's Sunday and she doesn't usually cut hair on Sundays, but last Weekend on Saturday, she didn't end up working because I was sick and uh, she didn't feel like it. So, plus the weather was still kind of iffy. We we had that iffy stuff, you know. And uh, she didn't go in, so she's out today doing it big. But yeah, I'm not really looking forward to dealing with this cold, but we'll get it done. And then it's supposed to warm up and it's supposed to be like either 47 or 57 degrees on Wednesday, which is insane. Besides grandkids, what I'm 
thinking is, I, I don't mind running intermodal, okay? It seems to be an easy lifestyle for me. Um, you know, I, I do everything that I can in the truck. Yeah, I, I make decent money to where we can live. I, I'm not never claimed to try to get rich off of driving a semi, period. And, you know, if we can go down and do, I can do the same type of work and have somewhat of the same type of situation. I know it's not gonna be exactly the same. I know there's gonna be things that are different. I know I'm not going to probably live 11 miles away from a facility and have a truck stop at my disposal with, you know, dealerships and stuff like that for parts right at my fingertips like I do have here. I know I've got it made in Northwest Ohio, you know, for the company that I work for and what I do. I understand that. I know that for a fact. I know it's not going to be that easy, but I'm okay with the challenge. Um, I'm okay with, you know, relocating and doing something not necessarily different because it's going to be the same thing, but, you know, different type of situation because it's a different area. I'll learn it, you know, and within a year, I'll be set up to where I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm living the same kind of lifestyle. It's just, you know, adjusting to the situation, which is fine. I can do that. It's not a big deal to me or my wife, you know. So we'll go down and lay the groundwork. That way, um, you know, if the kids want to come down, they'll know it's all good. They can. Well, just pulled over Campbell's here. 17 out feels like seven. That's the temperature. And uh, went and fueled up. That was expensive. Holy shit. That was expensive. But um, I got to get out real quick and I'll pull you out real quick and show you what I got to do. Because uh, while I was over fueling, I noticed that uh, my rear bags aren't as full as the front bags for some reason. Put it over here. What the fuck is that? Oh man, that's cooter. The hell was on this side, the other side, like he did last time. Clear on the Yeah, he's talking shit because he's trying to find his trailer. But uh, yeah, let's get out real quick. And I'm sitting there thinking, get frozen. I do have. If I get in here, here it is. Torch in a side box. Boom! <laughs> and um, see what I'm talking about? A little squish here. A little squish here. Um, not up all the way, not level. So I'm gonna get this guy right here and I'm going to hit all the fittings because I think, I wonder, if when I wash this thing the last time, if I get something froze up on top. The front bags are, you know, more full. And when I was fueling, I did dump the bags. They dumped out all the way, but then they didn't refill all the way. So I'm going to end up dumping some of that alcohol in my airlines when I do this too. But I'm going to hit all these fittings here real quick and see if, uh, <clears throat> hopefully this can take care of the problem, if you know what I mean. Well, that was fun. We're back home. And I could have ran more loads if I wanted to, but uh, I didn't feel like it because it's the Super Bowl. So um, we're going to go in. Wife's not home yet, still. Still not home. But uh, we go in and make a drink. Have a drink and celebrate the fact that we're finally back to work. Finally back running. Um, can't do that all the time. Barely slept, got up early. I had to chew some gum because I was starting to get drowsy a little bit there, and that was horrible. But that's what it is. That's why I got it. So we'll see until the next time. Stay tuned because uh, big things are coming up. Big things. So until the next time, we will see you.